Good girl. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're actually gonna try something a little different. So I've been out now on, I don't know, about five, five hunts with her so far and she hasn't really shown any interest in chasing squirrels. She's had a couple rabbit chases, which we haven't successfully got yet, but the uh, squirrels have kind of passed under her and she doesn't seem to show any interest. And I've had this in the past with red tails. They may have had a bad encounter where they got bit or something and then they just don't want to go back after them. So what my plan is for today is that I've actually found a, a squirrel that got hit by a car. So I've brought it home, hit it underneath this pine tree and I've ran a fishing line to it and I've wrapped it up around a tree over there and it's going to go back to a, a spot over there where I can pull on it. So when I have her out, I'm going to attempt to try, try to shoot it out in front of her here and see if she won't grab it. And yeah, so if she gets it, I'm going to let her feast on it and uh, we'll treat it like as if she killed it and hopefully it'll kind of push her in the direction to chase squirrels. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Let's see how this go plays out. So as I started to pull on the fishing line, it actually ended up breaking. It's only 30 pound mono, and the weight of the squirrel obviously was too much, especially pulling it through the grass. So I ended up just going over quick, and then I put my uh, my lure leash on, and then just did a drag from under the bush. I don't think this is the best way of doing it, because I feel that you oh, oh, oh. have them associate the squirrel not with you and if you're just dragging it right behind you they still just sort of associate it as food that you're providing so hopefully this will work and um, moving forward maybe she'll chase squirrels so yeah so this is uh, sort of what I like to do on their first kill even though this one was artificial kill it wasn't a real kill but she's treating it like it's a kill um, when you give them this much food they get very protective and they tend to want to try to carry it away red tails not so much as like the occipiters and stuff but they definitely do try to protect their food but I just like to get close kind of hang um, and watch yourself sometimes they'll get aggressive towards you but so you always want to kind of keep an eye on them but yeah just sit with them and let them feast Make them think that they'll always be able to trust hanging with you when they're eating and don't need to carry their food away. So yeah, hopefully this will be a successful reward and make her want to chase black squirrels. Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are a couple days after that uh, little squirrel test that we did with Rosa. So thanks for all you guys' suggestions on names. I decided to go with I decided to go with Rosa, which is Italian for red. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get out this morning and see if we can't get her on a squirrel. Since that little drag worked really well and she feasted and she's probably gonna she might be interested in them now. So anyway, so let's get out in the woods and see what we can find. Come on. She's actually flying at her heaviest weight I've had her at uh, here in a while, so we'll see how. Oh, I think I just saw a gray squirrel. Where is she? Let's get her to move forward here. No, oh, she's coming to my glove. Somewhere in here. Thank you. 
You were higher. Well, at least you chased it. That was a pretty good chase too. Here. All right, good girl. Good girl. If you would have got up off the ground, I think you would have got that, hey? Eh? Anyways, guys, we're gonna keep hunting. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on our next hunt. Yeah, you missed it. You should have been up higher in the tree.